Welcome to Tinbo Outdoors YouTube channel. Uh, thanks for checking in today. Uh, today we're going to go over how to powder coat uh, jigs using ProTech paint. Um, today we're going to be painting some blackfish jigs, uh, the tog jigs, flathead jigs, whatever you want to call them. Um, I'm going to show you my method for the crab green color we use, um, which for ProTech. It's their uh, dark green flake paint, and I also by hand put a little bit of their their uh, bright green. So we'll go over step by step how I do this. Uh, if you have any questions, just let me know. Uh, I'll help you out. So we'll be back shortly. Okay, so the first thing I want to go over is what you need to do this. So like I said, today we're going to be painting four of these flathead jigs. Uh, I have my paint with my fluid bed filters, which I made. Um, you can check out my other video on how to make them. And just to show you the importance of these, uh, if you watch, it kind of turns the powder, makes it look like it's water. You'll see it turn on momentarily. If you watch it closely, you'll see how it starts to look like it's moving. So when you dip your jig head in there, you're literally getting just the, the thinnest amount of paint possible. Um, the importance of that is for when you go to cure it in the oven, if you have too much paint, it will actually drip off of the flathead jig. So the only thing you won't see me doing is I use a, actually use a turkey fryer. Everyone's got their own methods and how to do it. Um, I heat my jigs for eight seconds just above the flame uh, prior to dipping them. So that's the only thing you won't see uh, as I demonstrate it. And then once I heat them up, you'll see how I dip them, and then how I apply the secondary coat of paint. Okay, so we're back. This is what I use. Just I use a, just some crimp pliers to grab the hook. So my hands away from them because obviously when I heat this up, the whole thing will be heated. So for one moment, I heat it for about eight seconds. Apply it real quick. See how it comes out. Then it's still pretty warm. This is just to try mimic. And I just take and I'll just lightly apply. Some of this yellow. And you'll see, I'll post some pictures later how close this gets. It's actually looking like a green crab that we use. We've had a lot of success with these. So once I do that, I'll take it, just put it over the flame one last time. And that is one completed flathead or tog jig head. Again, thanks for uh, checking it out. If you have any questions for me, uh, like I said, I have another video how we build these fluid bed filters, but um, that's the process. It's pretty simple. Uh, anyone can do it. Um, sometimes guys make it seem a little difficult, but it's actually pretty easy. All right, thanks for checking it out.